Alright. It's Zelda time. I just typed in Zelda time <laughs> for the category on Twitch. That's not correct. Terror combat with BDO graphics and FF story. I don't... I don't know how to feel about FF story at the moment. I feel like I've really liked Shadowbringers and there's there's various other pieces of content that I liked, you know, different patches and stuff. But Endwalker just feels kind of, I don't know. It's not a bad game. It's just, it's, it, it feels mid. Endwalker feels mid. <laughs> Let's put it that way, I guess. And I think the feeling of midness is not helped by... I, I think it was Mop that I was mentioning this to at one point. But FF's patch cycles are fucking law. Like, as and compared to the industry, they may not necessarily be super long, but they're four months in... In those patches, you get like a few hours of story and then like maybe a week's worth of content, depending on, you know, what you may or may not do for four months. And if you're an active subscriber, which I am for the time being, it's like four months isn't exactly cheap. It's 12 to 15 bucks a month. You're paying almost like full video game cost for a couple hours of stuff. Part of this problem is just that I've played the game for a while. I, you know, I don't have classes to level. I don't really horsey. I don't really have the side content to do because I've already done the the side content, etc, 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 you know, but I don't know. The expansion feels kind of mid. I also it's just there's no there's no long form thing like this is a good start to a Zelda video where I don't play Zelda I just talk about FF like there's there's the relic but the relic is just tomes which is fine and dandy but tomes aren't a thing to do it's just a thing you get for doing what you may have already been doing. The, as many problems as um, Baja or Eureka had, it was a thing to do. Like it was something to just hop on the game and, you know, go grind Eureka levels or whatever, or do the, the, the fates in Baja. I thought Baja was fun. I thought it, it had issues. There were some things that Eureka did better, but this is a thing they do a lot where they don't fix the thing. They just stop doing the thing. Like if we had another expansion with a with a field zone like Baja, where they took some more feedback and kind of like combined it with some of the feedback from Eureka and made a new thing. I, it, it, they could get to a thing that's like the greatest piece of content the game will ever have, and then they just don't. So I don't know. And I say they do this a lot because they do do it a lot. The aggro system had problems, and their solution was to just fucking remove aggro effectively instead of trying to fix it. Etc. Etc. Did I say doo doo? Huh? Oh my god, did I do the shrine? No, we just stopped here. Oh my god, this streamer made a poopy joke. Yeah, then there's stuff like that, like... 
the the island as the island I'm assuming you're talking about island sanctuary. The island sanctuary as it is is already not very useful. It's a neat thing to mess around with, and it's, you'll be able to customize with some outdoor furnishings and stuff, so that'll be nice. But next expansion, like what what is its purpose? You can't level with Island Sanctuary like you can with Ishgard. The rewards from it are going to presumably stay the same, but the expansion's going to introduce new materia, so the materia is going to be worthless, which is the only thing of value that was really in there. And, like, I don't... It, they're probably going to stop updating it. Like, is it going to keep getting updates with the next expansion, or is it just done? What's up with this laser, by the way? Can I move it? Just a laser here. Sneak. Like, if they just. Which wouldn't surprise me if they just stop doing island patches, then that's gonna feel pretty bad. I have cubes. But why do I have cubes? You son of a bit. Did this open actually? I don't remember this being open. Spicy elixir. I still don't know how to make elixirs, I need to figure that out. Don't know if I need those cubes otherwise, but we'll keep in mind that they Alright, well that's closed. Oi! Is it just like cooking? A meal at a fire? I thought I had to do something different with it. Oh, it is. Um, um, new beats, bugs, yeah, oh, fucking weirdo. What the heck? Is this just gonna go back? How do I... Yeah, how do I... What am I doing here? Oh, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I don't know if that's just me being... Like all this talk of FF. I don't know if that's just me... Feeling burnt on FF. Or not. But, I don't know. There's just the whole expansion feels kinda meh. Even the ending of, of base Endwalker I didn't feel was that good. Like, everyone was getting all, like, big Poggies emotional for, like, the story ending on Endwalker. And I was like, I don't know. They're obviously not going to kill them because Square refuses to kill anyone. Yeah, there is a lot, there is a lot of the social part of FF. I like to log in and do something. As, again, as many problems as Lost Ark has, and as many times as I've mentioned that, you log in and do something. Because, because the game has that free-to-play grind forever setup. There's like it's not like FF where you get the gear relatively easily.
and then not have gear to work towards. There's, an, there's always a grind. Actually, you know what? Before we go over here, let me go to the stable. Hello, Azuri. Have you got your new computer yet, Azuri? You decided to go a bit bigger. Are you going all the way with a 40, 90? What's the yellow circle? Temporary stamina. I ate some food, and, or no, was it food? No, I slept in a really nice bed. That's what it was. It gave me some stamina and HP. Honestly, if I had the money, I'd get a 40, 90. It has literally no competition. What's up with that tree? That tree looking a little thick. If you can convince yourself, probably. It, it's expensive. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say otherwise. It's a sixteen hundred dollar graphics card. But it is probably the last card you'll buy for like a decade. Per dig. Why is this tree so faint? You better be at that point. Well, yeah. I skipped Breath of the Wild because I watched other people play it. I'm enjoying it. There's, like, it's just mentioned it earlier for a different reason, but there's just stuff to do. Everywhere you go, there's stuff to do. Also, the building thing is actually kind of neat. Breath of the Wild didn't have this, but like, you know, if I just want to pick up a barrel and attach it to this barrel and make a bigger barrel, now I've got a bigger barrel that I can set on fire or something. I don't know. Does it burn? It fell off. Or if instead... Can I? I need more weapons, don't I? Yeah, I don't have any weapons. Can I attach the barrel to this? Oh, it already has something on it. I mean, you can do that. You can also hit them with barrels. You know, that kind of person. What was I doing? Oh, you have a quest. Hello. Huh? Getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. Ah. It's you! You did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing. Ah. Where the maniacal laughter at. Hee <laughs> What do you, I didn't come for shit. What are you talking about? A fair, mutually beneficial agreement? That sounds like something someone scamming would say. I'm, I'm not an applicant. I don't even know what you're talking about, Birdman. You look like... Long. Hello, yes, I am Long. The swordsman. Ah. I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Ah. 
What exactly brought you here? Well, it's cold, and I'm looking for, uh, fucking Zoldy. Someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Is that why she shows up in the cinematic and is spooky? It's cold and I'm looking for jammies. No, I got my boots on. We're good. Oh, free st I haven't even done anything and we're getting paid. Clothes. Those don't look like cold weather clothes, I'm gonna be honest with you. Froggy armor. Oh shit. I need this. Is it free? Hey! 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 I wish to become a frog. Visit every stable for leads. Okay. Do I have to go back to the ones I've already been to? <laughs> Cling to wet surfaces. Yes, please. Wait, you're not gonna give it to me now? What? What? Froggy armor, though. The archives are currently closed. Also, is this not a stable? It's not. Doesn't it have this? It has the horse head on it. What the heck? Ah. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talons or hands, in your case. I feel like he's got a bit of an advantage here. Alright, well, I need to sneeze, but since that's not what I thought it was... I guess we'll go back to our journey of the storyline? i not sure. Why not? Unless there was something in the sky I could do. I don't think there was. Or at least nothing that I could easily get to. Duck into a cave or well to stave off the cold. You've acquired comf and many cats. Hello, cats. What was the one that always... Not always. What was the one that liked watching the stream? Cyrus. Hi, Cyrus. Oh my god, we get some speed when I do that. Ah. I like their hairstyles. Hmm. Source of the blizzard is above that cloud. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing something with Tulin, aren't I? <laughs> Forgot that's what our objective. Um, it's attempting to pull out your scotch scrunchy. A valiant task. But where is Tulin, though? The Hebra South Summit Cave. What does that say? This entrance is marked by a bonfire. 
Where is Hebra South Summit? So two hour north, there should be a cave somewhere. I'm surprised the temperature isn't lower, considering, you know, the active snowstorm that's occurring. Hello? Is this the cave already? I see no such cave. Who are you? Unbelievable. These huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there? What are you doing in the mountains? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand. I have my booties, that's why. Ah. My friends are there now gathering provisions. They're glowing mushrooms and fish to be had. Glowing fish, perhaps? Okay. Turns out I was, like, basically right next to this, because that's the shrine I was at. Could've just jumped down from the shrine. Nice. It's gonna be an ice wing, too. Blast out a dangerous freezing frost when stimming. Hello? Idiot. Oh shit, I'm the idiot. Uh, bro, that did a lot of damage. Uh. Why you laugh? Do not bully, please. Let me just shoot at me. The hell? Are you a wizard? I'll deal with you in a second. Do you guys have anything? Oh, he's just got. He's just got a bow. Feathered edge. Swinging it produces a strong wind. Need more inventory. But Mr. Seed Man poofed. Also, I remembered what pose. Uh, the t every time you gather to a pose, like, hey, return it to this thingy statue. I remembered the pose statue at base camp, so. Is that the bonfire? Seems very bonfire you over so at some point, we need to go back to base camp. That is a big-ass bonfire. Oh? I'm here because it's a good place to find food. Why are you here? Because I need to find the idiot. Oh. There's a creature in the cave that hops around on the walls. Are you talking about a booble frog? Because I am hunting boobel frogs. Too much shit, my inventory. Well, the cave is warmer now. Yeesh. And lizards.
You can sort that list so it's not quite so obnoxious. You can sort it by frequently used so that they're always right next to each other. But yeah, you can attach literally everything to an arrow, including a missile. God, we got some fucking speed going there. You're attaching the arrow to the missile? Well, I mean, yeah. Not technically wrong. I don't... Does this work? Yes, this turns out. I was about to say, I don't really have any weapons for breaking rocks, which I should fix at some point. Hello? Oh, it's one of those fucking things. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some to some believe to be souls of the dead. Make clothing. Pita chips are good. When you die, you want to become a glowing rock. Very luminous. Well, if we make a fire via the power of physics... It should make an updraft. There's also fish. I should collect some fish. Hit the wrong button. Did not collect fish. This does not appear to be making an updraft. Kind of banking on that. Iron gun. Would that make an uptrend? Let's increase the intensity. Oh shit, there you go. He right though. We got a cave there, we got a cave up here. Which cave do we go to? There could be goodies. There could instead be a small rock man. Yo, his, he's fucking coming for me. Small rock man is weak to large smashy thing. Is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? This seems awfully correct a direction, eh? There's a lizard. By the rules of video games, I have to go the wrong direction first. Ow. My face. The wrong direction uh, needs to be on fire. There's a froggy boy over there. A boobell frog. Featuring a boobell gym. Which I don't think we found the person for those yet. Oh. Alright, see, that's why you go the wrong way. We could have missed that boobell gym. of unknown value. Now the question, is there a boat up here? Technically everything's a boat. I can, I can just make boats. Hello. You're not Tulin. You're the other idiot.
Hello. Well, I'll be. What a hellion doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard. That's how birds talk. Mm. Here to talk to Tulin, eh? Task was to scavenge food, but he just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. Mm. Same ones sighted outside the village. Told the others we should return right away. Tulin clearly wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong with this child? A lone setter tree on Talanto. Peak. Fake birds not cussing enough. Is that the requirement to be a bird? You have to swear at everything. Would I pr pronounce the word setter again? Do you like setter or would you prefer cedar? Or perhaps Kadar. This one officer, it's this one. Speedy's nuts. Setter's nuts. Who is Setter? And why are we talking about his nuts? Palm, control your streamer? Why is Palm in charge? How's she gonna control me? This is a red thing over there. I don't know why I'm gonna bother fighting these. The loot's always shit. Does Purd have southern accent? Oh. Specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Optimal spear has been created. I've just made a really long spear. That's the tower thing. Really. You see surprisingly far. What? I forgot my hint already. It was... Something on Talanto Peak, which is literally behind me. Oh, it's a lone, lone cedar tree. Right, right, right. <laughs> You're a rather large fella. With a whole squad of smaller fellas. They'll never see the stick. <laughs> Stealth. My sons. <laughs> How hard do you think he is to fight? I don't think he knows I'm actually here yet. He's looking around. Poke him right in the butt. He got a lot of HP, brother. What are you doing? Don't do that. Ice arrow is kind of broken. This weapon, however, not very broken. Ta-da. 
boss bacoblin horn. Attention to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. I can't have his weapon though. Oh yeah, we got real good range on this bad boy. <laughs> like twice my height. These are just the remnants of his children. I need to go up. Not a problem in this game. Is that? That is a bacoblin. What are you doing in there? Does this work or do I need to burn something next to it? There would be so many arrows. Fuck it, you can stay there. No, I gotta know. We could have a reward or something. I don't know. Fuck it. Where are my logs at? Not the fastest defrosting method. Hello, sir. You know we could be friends instead of murdering each other. My weapon is notably worse now. Well, I just unfroze that guy for nothing. Good to know. I was hoping he had, like, a, a chest associated with him. I don't know. I climb. Might have had a good weapon. I probably should have checked his weapon, but it fell down there and I didn't want to drop down. Should have kept my guard it. What happened? Oh, well, uh, you see, what ha happened, bitch? Was the bitch bitched away? Took your bow. I see. He do have a bow. You can blow a strong gust of wind. Uh, -huh. uh okay. When Tulin's aura is charged, it can create a stream of wind. Assuming this was just to get me to here, because that wasn't doing fuck all else. Got him. Oh. Heck, birds. I think we've angered the bird squad. The paratroopers. I love that that's their delivery method. Why is this one blue? AI compatriot, is he any good at fighting? Bro, he's coming for me. Just keep pushing him. <laughs> the power of wind compels you. Best weapon. Who needs to hit anyone when you can just push them? We did it. <laughs> Ooh, 
Why are we blurry? Must have been not the wind. Mustn't have been the wind. Hello. Howdy. Yeah, Tulin, you fucking idiot. You should listen to people. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me. I just had to lose my bow. The whole thing with Princess Zelda, you say? The Zald herself? You spotted her getting attacked by a monster? <laughs> I guess she was fine because she zoomed up above the cloud. As princesses are known to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I did come out here looking for Princess Zelda. Uh. The blizzard is coming from inside that cloud. Zelda's making the blizzard. She just likes cold weather. The only way in is through the top. How do you get to the top? That's kind of high. Uh. Yes, hello. It is Tulin. Why is this the only bird capable of making gusts of wind? Uh. <laughs> Dad said that? Dad believes in me? Okay. Near Hebra Peak. The Sky Islands near Hebra Peak, he says. Um. Oh, Hebra Peak. Northeast. Is that Hebrew Peak? Probably. What's wrong with batch cooking apples? Yes. All right, you only do horizontal. He begins to blow the wind horizontally. <laughs> Trying to bake them, and in order to bake them, you need to set them on fire. As someone who doesn't frequently bake apples, is this accurate? Oh, hello. Do the, do the wind thing. Wind. It makes a horrible noise when he does it. I feel like, like baking them in the oven should work without setting them afire. But I'm not an expert, so I don't know. We haven't done for a while. It's taken a survey of the area. To look for some shrines. Also, this is just... That's very ominous looking over there. Where does that mark go? Oh, that's the cat. We can see the castle from here? Holy shit.
impressive for the Switch, to be honest with you. Obviously not a lot of detail out there, but like, you know, impressive though. Oh, speaking of details, um, I noticed if we look at the map and we look at these two things that I found down here, these are the, the light root things. They're directly underneath things that are on the surface. That one's slightly off, but that one's right underneath a shrine, and it's literally the name of the shrine, but backwards. So I wonder if every shrine has a, a root underneath it. Leave it to me. Is that a Rudy boy? That is a Rudy boy. Ooh. Hello. My friend and I got separated. He's way the fuck up there. How do I get you up there? Um. Do you think attaching a rocket and a fan to him will be a good idea? Or maybe just two rockets? I could do a balloon and a rocket, that'd be... Well, then I... How do I get the balloon down? Hmm. Actually, the balloon... I already have a rocket, so we may as well try it. I was going to say, the balloon will fall automatically because it'll run out of juice. What could possibly go wrong with this plan, chat? Like, there's literally nothing bad that could happen here. He needs to reach his friend. It's important. <laughs> Don't fall over. Oh, you fucker. Why are you so fat? Will that do? I don't know. Fuck it. Let's find out. That didn't work very well. <laughs> uh, would you miss? I tried to launch this guy to the moon. It didn't work very well. Apart from that, not a whole lot. Let's try the balloon. Now I'm going to turn him into a hot air balloon. You know, just the usual things you do with Korra. It's a little top-heavy. Can't imagine why he's a little top-heavy, but he is a little top-heavy. stuck oh that's got some downward thrust on it yeah that's <laughs> that's not gonna work how i want it to because of that fans pointing the wrong way what you put on your taka
Oh, there's a fucking... Ah, oh, shit. It's a goddamn ceiling up here. Blank all Koroks. Kitten, you might need to threaten the hammer again. How do I rotate this fucking... Lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and obviously meat. Get that to go up as high as I want. Hmm. I mean, he can he can make the wind gust. Where were we originally? We were up there. Let's get back to where we started. I think we just walk up there. Kick all Koroks and their leafy little faces? What the heck? Why are y'all so mean to the Koroks? How long does this gust of wind last? Not very long. Okay. How do I make him not fall over? I killed that. <laughs> I killed the tiny tree. Oh, fuck it. Hold on. Why is this why is it shut off before my battery runs out? It's because it's getting too far away. Does it stop working if it's too far from me? Are there supplies we can use over here for this? It's a really violent way to kill things. Ouch. <laughs> what the fuck? Why he do so much damage? You stabbed once in the back and you're fucking dead. You have Ganonades and four hearts. Yeah, you get stabbed in the back once with Ganonades and you fucking die. Meanwhile, that guy survives a nuclear explosion too deep from him. Oh, he's coming. We'll shout. Did the gym, gym break? Did the sapphire? Why it no? Sapphic. Oh, it has to recharge. There's a balloon right there, actually. I didn't even need to spawn a fucking balloon. Bro, he's quick response. Oh, fuck, I'm on fire. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> what? Man, it rapidly goes south. 
Hello, Nintendo. Your video game is too difficult. Please introduce a difficulty setting. I wish it would auto save slightly after this, so I don't have to keep doing this every time. I love how that's a sneak attack, by the way. I see me. Doesn't take them long. Oh, fuck me. Doesn't take them long to spot me. Oh my god, it hurts. Stop. Cease. Yeah, stay on the floor, idiot. Ah. Oh. A sturdy wooden stick. A soldier construct two horn. This explains why they were slightly more capable. Alright, now's a great time to save Roasted Trina. Video game. Roasted Wildberry. I like how just a bunch of shit that was on the ground is roasted now. Thick stick. All right, we have this, we have some platforms. We can theoretically use this to make our CD boy a bit more stable. And maybe we could ride along on it too, so it doesn't stop using the battery? I'm not sure. Hello, seed friend. Ah, you scared me. It's just you're in a real pickle, I know. Have I found Hestu? Yeah, I got two upgrades and then he fucked off. My boy has to. Shouldn't there still be a fan here? Or did it despawn? You heard he was a bitch to find. Technically, the game points you in his direction, so. The first direction it tells you to go is the direction he's in, which was rather convenient. So many people follow directions. Well, yeah, but everything's harder if you don't follow directions, to be fair. I just attach it to him. It, I guess that doesn't matter, but... It's not, not really who I was trying to attach that to. Or what I was trying to attach that to. No, oh, climb up it. Ah. Get up the slope. Lonk, please. He needs to find trying. There we go. Yeah. I guess the problem is the battery stops working if you're too far away, which makes sense. So I needed to go over with him. Yeah, haha. -ha.
Alright. Uh, we still need to do something on the summit somewhere. We need to go up, I presume. We can just use this to do some stuff. We can just take the fan off and go up with it, actually. Actually, we could even just attach the fan to the bottom of it. Is that high value lift gain? I don't know, actually. Don't throw it. I was going to say flat enough and then it tipped over. We go up here. I don't know. Fuck it. Do it. See that? Power drain on that fan is quite high. Goodbye, my, f my aircraft. Can I make this? I can't tell where the top is. I think we make this. There's a lot of grunting involved, but... You wanna... Ah, oh, shit. I thought that was flat enough. My reference plane for flat was tilted. Easy. Not even close. This is, I don't... I don't know if you're aware, but this is a real tall mount. Like, it is called a mountain, to be fair, but this is a real tall mount. I have the backup stamina. I forgot about that. I don't really want to use that, but. I like you, noob, just occasionally interjecting with a yahaha and nothing else. Hello. How did you get up here? If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. Oh. They said I could go up. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone admires your wind gust technique. Again, I don't understand why he's the only one that can do it. Uh -huh. Nods. Is that a fucking tower down there, by the way? That is. Not very far away, but going down right now would be a bad plan. So. Gonna opt to not do that right now. Tulin, can you learn how to do vertical gusts? If it wasn't so fucking cold, I'd put on my climbing gear. But it's cold. Oh god. Oh god. Oh... What? Alright, well via the power of hope and dreams... I will simply regenerate my stamina by doing that little maneuver. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine and intended. I too regenerate my stamina by jumping up and down. Oh my god, that's a hell of a climb, dude. 
We have rockets, though, but I don't think the rocket goes that high. Let's we use multiple, maybe? I don't know, actually. I'll have to find out. I think that's the plan, though. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that didn't go as high as I was hoping for. We may have wanted to craft a device. Because I don't... I don't think there's a spot for me to even hold on up here and regenerate unless I bug it out again. I guess that might work. But then how do I... Can I climb this? I don't think Link can climb ceilings. Um, hmm. Make an airplane. I do have, I have limited energy. So I need some way to get up there with the energy I have. Unless this works, but I doubt it. Oh my god, this works. All right, who needs an airplane when you can just swim through the ether? All right, problem solved. <laughs> really wasn't expecting that to work. Also, there's a there's a boat up here. I want to point that out. Hello, Tula. It was around here that she saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Clearly it's her boat. Self-made by her. What is that thing? Was that voice acting? No, just made a noise. It's a boat. Oh. Makes noise again. Oh. All right, slow down. We just met. To me. Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? There's a boat in there, chat. It's THE boat. Also, there's a, the, the boat make baby boats? Why are there so many boats? What's happening? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somehow we have to make a line of boats, but how do we make a line of boats? Uh -huh. Nowhere to go but up. Boats can have babies? Apparently, look at them all. There's a whole ass family up there. Also, if I fall off of here, holy shit. Look at how far up we're going. There's that shrine there, but like... Where does this boat go? Because if this boat moves and I lose access to the shrine... 
But if the boat is how I get to the shrine, we'll just get on the boat. Oh, that's not what I expected the boat to do. This will at least give us a checkpoint because we can teleport up here. Or fast travel or whatever. And we may as well do it since we're here. Hello and welcome to Downward Force. There's a, there's a boat. Um. Um. Built this. Uh, what? Am I doing? They have given me no tools to work with. There seems to be an implication via the name that that needs to come down. But how? Can I swim up? No, I need a surface that's kind of close to me. How do I make it come down? Unless I'm missing a tool? I'd have to come back? Shoot the orange thing? Whapsed. Whatumpsed orange thing this thing? Oh, that just opens the door. What the fuck is the point of that? Well, now I know those are switches for the future, which I will probably forget, but you know. My sneak attack chat. Okay, we can bounce. Does it bounce all the way up there? And then we can bounce here. Where does this one bounce though? In some direction? The that boat may have? A double bounce. Huh. Kinda like these boats. There's a switch. Look at that. See? The power of knowledge. I'm educated now. I don't think I needed to be educated because that puts me literally right next to it, I guess, but... You know. Was that really it? Well, why was it called Downward Force and why did it have that fucking ginormous room at the start? I don't understand. I can get another upgrade though. You think I should get a heart or just keep doing stamina?
Maybe we finish one stamina circle and then get hearts. I don't know. Stuff does do like 8 billion damage, so. I got scared that it was like a hole all the way through at the end there. <laughs> Would have been a bad fall. Oh, I need you to wind for me, thanks. You said you don't like high places, Ma? Because, uh... We've still got another several hundred feet to go, and there's the bottom down there. <laughs> We're still going. This is a, this started on top of a mountain too. <laughs> we got some height. Hello. My arm broke. Sorry, I stole his stick and beat his ass with it. It's fine. No, not amiibo, you fuck. That's why I'm up short. She doesn't like tall places. He's on to something. Yeah, we started on top of a mountain. There's a ground somewhere. Hello? Come here. Thank you for being able to climb that link. I was about to have some issues. The other dude's like, oh shit, we're under attack. Oh, he just killed him for me. Well, hail. But all my loot fell down. Man. Oh, there's mushies. Too far up. It looks like we can go through that pillar. Actually, we have, we have blocks we can stack over here. Can we get up this one? Maybe don't fall over. Please? <laughs> now we're here. Can I melt that ice? Does that ice stop me from doing anything? I feel like this would be a very inefficient means of melting that ice. Though. 
That does not seem meltable. I say that because of those boxes down there. I can go up through this, but I don't know if the ice stops me. The ice stops me from climbing, so we can probably just go through it. But first, there's a chest over there. Sturdy thick stick. Wait, I already had a sturdy thick stick. Oh, fuck it. Portable pot. Thanks, brother. We're still going up, by the way. It's gonna remind me every time this happens. Clearly we're gonna have to make some some boxable climbable boxies. Hmm? Let's keep it from tipping over. Let me just do this. We swim! Through the aether. What does this feel like, you think? Where's my bird friend? Oh, there you are. Hello. I don't know why you came from above, but we don't question bird behaviors. Thanks for the auto save checkpoint. Make me feel a little better. No, don't climb down. Okay. Did you? How am I supposed to be sneaky when this fucker is he? Flame emitting club. Sure. There's another cube. That one's got something glued to it. Is it? Oh, that's the treasure chest. There's another cube, though. Leave it to me. <laughs> we must fight the cube. Plus I have backup. Surely this will go faster. I can't see, but you know. With my newfound knowledge of how to defeat Flux Construct, it's not actually that bad to deal with. My problem was I thought you had to shoot it with arrows, but no, you just use the skill. Does this not damage my weapon, fighting him? Because this is a lot of swings without it saying it's- oh never mind, there it goes. I think it broke on the last hit. Well done. Good job, team. We did it. Thanks to thanks to chat. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. I have a stick with a thing on it now again. There's a trend with putting a, a thing on a stick here. A very old map. Another spot in the void. You're welcome. Thanks. Appreciate you, champ. So 
So that's how I get up. Where is this in relation to where I was supposed to be going, like originally? I think the rock falling on it did that? I don't know. Can oh fuck, Koroks can roll? They can, but I don't usually like when they roll. I don't like the birds trying to murder me either, but you know. Birds be like that sometimes. I wish they would roll like with any sort of consistency, but they're a very weird shape. Wow, 10 arrows. That's crazy. He's got an icicle. Just gonna let him roll to his friend. Oh. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther, even in a slight wind. It just gave me the loot. I guess you're... Never expected to be able to pick up their stuff. Yeah. There's another shrine up there. Where am I? Now that I'm here, where am I going? Over there? Was there no actual reason to come over here? Because this doesn't make it. I gotta bounce it. What the heck? Went the wrong heck away. I think we've been climbing this for like an hour, by the way. And where am I going from here? Over there. I was trying to get Link to face that way, but nope. We got aerial enemies up here. Heckin' birds. No one likes birds. Also, this wind is slightly concerning. I don't know what you expect when we're 80,000 feet in the air, but it's a bit windy up here. Hey, we can make a fire up here. To presumably cook food, which I've not been doing a lot of. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of fish up here too. I mean, I guess we should cook some stuff. So, 
sword. <laughs> Cook some stuff. I don't know. We got a bunch of chill friend. It will temporarily boost your heat resistance. That's not what I want, is it? I don't know. Bright meat and seafood. Delicious. Have one of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have one of those. Mm -hmm, some meat, sure. Fuck it. Just cook a bunch of stadubius. What the heck? I bought three pieces of meat. Surely that can't be dubious. A bird egg? A bird egg? Some sugar and some salt. Perfect. Look at that. Omelette. Easy as that, chat. A fortified pumpkin? An egg? Uh... And some onion. That would be a, not a very good mix, I think. It turns out it was a good mix, but what do I know? I'm pretty sure I have enough ingredients to sit here and cook for like a long ass time, so we're, we're gonna stop in a second. A bunch of various useful things. That's all that does, really. Probably shouldn't cook a bomb, one would imagine. What if we just do sugar, salt, oil, and some goat butter? It sounds like a great mix. No, it turns out it wasn't. All right. <laughs> Got him. That was too fucking off. Is this still the direction I'm supposed to be going? I think so. It's always a bad question to have this far up. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, they went over there to fight stuff, but I fucking murdered one of them. They all died instantly anyway, but you know. Now it's destroyed. Don't do that. I kind of think heavy weapons all suck. They're too slow. What do you mean? What do you mean the fucking bridge fell? What the hell? I was using that. There's an enemy over there. Was there a chest? Is that just a catch you off guard? There's a big boy up there. Is that a bomb? Ah! <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, that was a bomb.
He's swinging a timed explosive on a stick. I was trying not to fight him because of the fact that he was swinging a timed explosive on a stick. It was slightly alarming me. God, those are actually quite large. Um, what's the chest? What goodies do you contain? Ooh, a large zone I charge, you say. I'll be sure to turn that into fucking gotcha rewards, because that's what we do around here. Alright, we got blimps, we have explosives. I feel like the explosives are not a useful part of this expectant, or not expected experience. Maybe they are, I don't know. I'm gonna put two on just for, you know, the sake of doing that. It gives me the option, I may as well. We just go up, straight up. We, oh, we're supposed to be going that way. I think we need this much. But here we go. We. No, don't climb it, idiot. This will be a lot harder without the ability to simply swim through half of this distance. Rather convenient ability. That just has mushrooms over there. Let's see. Frankly, from the one we're right next to, I think we could just go all the way over. We'll let it loop back around. How's Mop doing? How's Mop's fear of heights doing? If there weren't clouds, probably be a lot better, but there are clouds, so we can't fucking see down there. Wee. Yeah, we just make it over here. Cold weather attack is running out. A whole lot of good that did. I mostly did it to heal, to be honest with you. Wee. Yet another shrine. This is your first time flying. This time. Air is pretty cold up here, huh? Thankfully, I have cold weather attire, but it do be chilly up here. Also, windy. Windier. How much further up do we have? I wonder if we have to actually bounce up all of those boats. Because this... We're gonna be here for a while. I think. This entire stream of Zelda is just going to be climbing. You know, we're gonna be in space. The steed takes the lead. Rauru's Blessing is a chest thing. Wait, this is just like an immediate reward shrine. There's fucking nothing here.
Large zone I charge. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for the charge, Rover. I should have seen if it was any different dialogue. Probably not. That part's not, at least. Not much of a shrine, but I'll take a teleport point in case I have a catastrophe and fall. This game does have a Z coordinate system. We could tell how far up we'd gone if I knew what the Z coordinate at the start was, but we're at 1355 now. I think we're going that way. Kind of getting hard to see. Bro, look at this fucking wind. Pliz. A reminder that Tulin is a child that they've sent on this journey with Link. Oh no, I have to actually use the rotating boats. Oh no, moving targets. Heat child. Oh jeez, the wind. Oh jeez. Seems like a perfect lease. There's the tower down there. There's a tower down there. We'll just, we'll take it nice and slow here, you know? The boats move actually a lot slower than I thought they did, but... Wheel! Oh, now the boats are coming towards me. Hmm. You're at the ball puzzle. Now you can use your advanced forward knowledge for the ball puzzle. Um. Can I actually make it to this boat? You don't remember any of it? Well. You got it, I believe. It was Kitten that actually solved it for me. We're almost at the top, chat. We're almost there. Can I make this? I think we do. I have to do a little climbing. Now we're good. Perfectly calculated. I really like the way this game handles the dynamic music. It's slowly been building up as we go up. Do we just go in? It's kind of noisy up here. It is no longer noisy. There's a thing over there. That's another boat. Alright, chat, here we go. Look how peaceful it is. Oh shit, you can see all the way down now. There it is. The frame rates don't like this very much.
See what I mean about the music though? This is a temple? I had to do all that just to get to a temple? It's a cannon. What am I doing here now? Oh, getting a cutscene is what I'm doing. This is what was waiting for. Oh, it's Zelda. But not really Zelda, presumably. I don't know what's going on with Zelda. Oh. You immediately forgot. Winded Temple, first floor. There are indeed entire multi-floor temples then, or multi-floor dungeons, I guess. Now she poofed and then it got very windy. Just gotta find more doodads and turn them all on. Or have God speak to us. Brave Fletchling. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Okay. Heed my words. Huh. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Release all five blocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time to solve some puzzles or something. Presumably. have a gander around see what we got to work with here now the part that I'm concerned with well for one I don't know how big this actually is but there's bouncy boats all the way down there there's also a cannon Um, yeah, well, the cannon shoots. What's in here? A whole lot of nothing. Uh, there's an opening, I think. Looking at me like that. When the temple be one. God damn it. I hate when the bow breaks, it just doesn't shoot. What's in here? Is this a, a foe? A friend? You can milk this for me, as it turns out. Ah! You can also fucking nearly annihilate me instantaneously, as it turns out. Good to know. You've also set my bow on fire. I should probably put away.
easy loop. A ruby! Say less. I do actually need money because I don't. I haven't really been in a lot of caves, which seems to be where you get it. So there's something over there. We got boxes. Got this, which goes further down. Hmm. Captain. Leave it to me. I don't know why I expected just push it with the button instead of interact with it, but whatever. Pick that up. This man attached a whole last fucking blab of stone to his sword. Um. If I wonder, actually, this may in fact kill me. In fact, it's relatively likely to kill me. But I'm curious. If I attach explosives to a piece of stone... ...and then stand on it... ...does this kill me? I need some way to set them off, though. You think this will kill me? Holy fuck, it doesn't. That was very loud and startling, but let's go. I've created a new means of traversing the world. I'm just going to stand on things and blow up. What do I do with this, though? Actually, do I know? Oops. Ah, my head. My very large brain came up with an idea. spin constantly. Probably don't need all four of these on it, actually. Probably get away with less. Get this chest and see. Once I go through that, though... I can't come back. Because I'll have no means to activate this again. Oh, 
also don't think they gave me the tools to... Well, no, he can probably do it, actually. Hold on. I was going to say, we probably didn't get the tools to spin it, but no. There you go. Ta-da! Hello. We're back on the first floor of the Wind Temple. We've gone through like three floors and accomplished nothing. Oh, hello. What's this? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. I wonder what we could possibly do with it, chat. Like perhaps using gust blow some wind into it. How does it keep spinning, though, without... Excuse me, without wind. Well, I got to find the other four. Why are you yahaha so much? I think that's a chest, to be honest with you. acquired and ah, I see. Do you enjoy the Yahaha emote? Ooh, 15 on that shall be attracting. So that one's done. Oh, it lights up when you're on the floor. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can we get in on the east side of the ship? Because that'll give us another one. We need to be in there. Huh? Oh. I just fight everything for me. What am I even here for? Let's get shot by a cannon, shall we, chat? Hmm. I think it's aware of my presence. Perhaps. Maybe. That is a hole. It is blocked up. I'm gonna use a bomb just to blow up all of it in one go. Need more bombs, actually. Hello? Yeah, the one thing he can't climb. Holes. How do I... How do I get in? There's a, there's a chest right there. I don't even know if I can get in that hole. If I got up to it. Again, I don't know why I bother trying to fight that. That seems like it'll kill me. Let's be careful with that. Don't come over here. Enjoy that you can just throw broken weapons at things. Big fan.
plunk. Plink plunk. Okay, we got a bunch of spinny things. An unattached spinny thing. If I simply attached that, it would spinny thing. Can I attach it with an icicle? This icicle's kind of big. And there's the next one. This is supposed to be pu- oh fuck. This is supposed to be puzzles? I didn't mean to double tap that, so we gotta stand here now. How's it going? Haven't seen any cool new movies lately? Fought any wars with uh, juvenile bird creatures lately? Three more to go. We can do We can do it, I believe. Uh, got that one. I'm uncertain how to get there because if I recall that was a gate. And there's one in B2. Just right next to us. What? Oh, it's not right next to us. It's that, oh, it's that on the other side. God damn it. So I didn't go down that pathway. And there's one up there somehow. Well, we need to get back to the other side of the ship because I know how to get to that one. You're getting so many IA or not IAs. <laughs> Yahas. Stop getting so many new. You're making me look bad when I'm already aware of my badness. Why does this ship have cannons, by the way? It's an ice thing. I'm gonna break the ice thing. attack most used I just attached it to the flamethrower oh no it was just trying to attach to the flamethrower Lowers the energy consumption, you say. Drop that. Don't actually use that shield. Though, you know. Is there an easy way out of here other than using more items to get out? No, oh, fuck it. Just use a shield. Actually, can I just do this? Oh, I could just do this. Well, I just spawned that for no reason, but that's okay. I got gotcha. you. Bonk. Bonk. Electrocutes in the water. As you do, you know. I wish I hadn't done that missile down there because, well, I at least attached it before I fucked off. That was a bit stupid on my part. So 
many frozen things. I guess I could have used that to go up. If I had a rocket, I'm just going to have to spawn another rocket. Or just climb. No, it's, it's not climbable. Well, if we're going to spawn a fire thing anyway, let's just make a blimp. I have nothing to attach the blimp to, though. I just hold on to the blimp. to use the bouncy ships, so we just need to get to the bouncy ship. Which I hate to do it, but we gotta use the fucking rocket and put it on the shield. It's a heckin' bird. It's a bunch of birds. Wait, no, we've already been up here. Yeah, this is closed. Unless I can open it. Ah! Fuck me. Why does everything in this game hurt? Can't open it. Hmm. Well, this is how we get to that other one. Masterful control. <laughs> Precision gliding. Three down, two to go. Uh, fuck, I can probably just do the same thing again. I was going to have him scoot us across quickly, but a soldier bleed. All right, back up. That one's done. There's still this one that I'm not sure how to get to. And that one all the way down is we just need to be on the other side. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. We're okay. You know, we probably should have used the other. No, wait, we don't need the other engines. We need this one. I'm dumb. This is closed. Oh, I know where this is. I was about to be very confused. Because I noticed this earlier when I was looking down here. There's a hole in the wall. I like his run animation. Don't pull your fucking camera out. We're not sightseeing. We might be sightseeing, actually. I don't know. We're high enough to sightsee. All right, one more. Uno more. How do I get back up? Oh, the door. Logically, I suppose. Hmm. 
All right, now I have to figure out how to get into that other one that's on like the top floor. Can I just exit this way? Do I actually have to? No, we. Right. There's some levers here. Howdy, neighbor! I broke my sapphire. I was using that, I think. Did I break it? Been a bit of a bit. Now you might notice that's broken, however, if we simply make our own handle. Power of technology. Beautiful. That one's got a bit of an angle on the dangle there. Is Sal still around? Or did he poof off into the aether? As Australians are wont to do sometimes. That's it, Link. We've unlocked them all. We should be able to open up the hatch in the main deck now. Come on. Let's go. Ouch it. Let's see what's in here before we go over there. I was gonna ask him how this compares to Breath of the Wild. Oh fuck, he's got a flank there. Since one of the, I mean, I did watch people play it, but one of the problems with Breath of the Wild was people complaining about there not being actual proper dungeons. This seems dungeony to me. It is technically the first one we've been to, and it's been like 12 hours, but. You know. Details. I think part of that was just because I've been wandering most of the time. Open the hatch! Now what? Mm, that may not have been a good idea. Okay, let's go. What am I supposed to do? I'm not a bird. What the fuck do you mean? Earwig dragon. Rose a little loud. Cold Gata. Scourge of the Wind Temple. Thing must be what's causing the blizzard. We've got to take it down. How? Have, have we made it that far in the thought process of how to take it down? How the fuck do I fight this? bow is badly damaged. It's really, really big. Oh, my bow is broken, isn't it? Fuck sure we can do it. <laughs> I, I thought I pulled my doodad out. Clearly I didn't because I'm dead, but I thought I pulled my glider out. God damn it. I like the map location, though. Did 
Turns out falling to the surface is bad. That's interesting information you've given me, boss. I didn't quite reach, did it? Ah! Alright, so we can hit it from the bottom or the top. It's a weird creature. What do you mean? What do you mean? Something small I can eat. I got a lot of. I eat so dubious food. Delicious. This is a neat boss, though. Oh, that is fucking no chance of hitting. <laughs> You're a little fast, bro. Can't it fight me on the ground? Well, I mean, it flies. It's the scourge of the wind temple. We could be on the ground, but it's just going to be in the air anyway. Fuck, he's fast. Why are you so fast? Slow motion, crushing of literally everything. How do we hit this? Like, where do I aim to hit it? I'm also kind of running out of arrows. That it. Oh, it did work actually. Oh fuck yeah, Egypt. Oh, that's not happening. That was only half of its HP, though. Oh, it has regenerated its wind. Or ice, sorry. And wind, I guess. Yeah, but like, how, though? Because, like, it fucking Anki boys. I'm aware. Is this any better for you, Mop? Do you prefer this iteration of fighting it in the air, featuring tornadoes? I only have three more arrows, by the way. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> it's a little lenient with the hitboxes on those. Could you please help? Because uh, I'm out of arrows. Now what do I do? Is there, like, any loot around I can grab? What are you doing? Oh, fuck me. The fucking tornadoes, lad. Oh, he's shooting at me now. Can I land on it, maybe? We're going in. 
Yes. That was probably the intended way to do it, to be honest with you, but... <laughs> I got arrows. Screeches. Oh, there's Sal. Sal missed the whole last dungeon. What the heck? Thumbs up, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask you how it compared to Breath of the Wild since I think you played them. Free health upgrade? Pretty same same. I mean that one was fun. It was very temple-y. Not very long, but it was the first one. Reasonable enough for me. The frame rates are worse with the clouds gone. Oh, maybe it was just loading everything in. Oh, nope. It's a bit stuttering. Yeah, it's a switch. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Can we help you? Do not poke the tears. Note that down, chat. Tulin, my brave fledgling. Papa. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long ago. That's not Papa. Well, I guess technically it's Papa. I served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. Mm -hmm. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Why is it on your ankle? King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. It's a very dramatic piano. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, A great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. Oh shit, it's evil Ganon as opposed to regular Ganon. The first king of Hyrule requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Raru entrusted us with amazing artifacts. Secret Notice that Zelda's in the cutscene because she was there. Our formidable abilities. I carry Time travel. Battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Raru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world. King Raru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. The rest of us survived that climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. Hi, hey, Zelda. It was another of the six sages, the Sage of Time. 
Makes sense, I suppose. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. By us. And by us, I mean her. Time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. Thanks. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. And now you know about the imprisoning war, and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village. I don't think this retcon Breath of the Wild, because they were rebuilding at the start of this game. Will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. I know I use swords, but why am I always referred to as just the swordsman? So it's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? Oh. Link! This is so, so amazing! Wham! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this. I'll happily take this secret stone. Do you think this area is still, like, covered in snow, considering we killed what was causing it? That'd be actually really cool if it stopped being snowy. I'm glad it comes with its own attachment method. I am the Sage of Wind. Look, check out what I can do now. Huh? What? It's heckin' Wimby. Blink. Hold out your hand. We're that's a bit of a difference. We're gonna go flying, aren't we? Oh. The Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. I was expecting more, but take this. It's proof that I'm with you. The power of a handshake. What did you do though? I've got a ring on my crusty pinky. <laughs> you can use that ring to call on my power anytime, all right? Okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. So he's not actually going to help me fight uh, evil Ganon. Demon. Demon Ganon, sorry. He's just going to use a spirit replacement. That's a bit of a cop out. I feel cheated. You can do it, game. I believe in you. There we go. Oh, I was loading a cutscene, I guess. That's okay. hmm? Still looking a heckin' Wimdy. Uh -huh. Oh. No longer Wimdy? No longer Snowy? That's fast acting weather. Good lord. 
the whole zone's not snowy. That's kind of cool, actually. Bird. I wonder if that opens up more areas because they're not like snowed in or something. Oh, it's still a little bit snowy. All right. Didn't entirely get rid of the snow. Oh. You guys did it. No small feet, he says. Uh -huh. You could have knocked me over with a feather? What? What does that mean? <gasps> Gasp. Hmm. New bow. <laughs> Is the music in town different too? I don't remember what it was when we were here before. If it even had music. Can we stand away from the fucking blinding sky though? I point the camera the other way. The woman in the vision, my ancestor. She did look like Zelda. Now, Link wouldn't... Well, would Link know this? Yeah, Link's seen her go to the past. Hmm. So Link knows she's there. He talked to her? Uh, The only time Link has directly heard her was up at the start. Yeah, when she got the Master Sword. But she just said, find me. Or something to that nature. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Tulin. Tulin, Tulin. She's over there. But then when we when we got the first tier thingy, tier of the dragon. I'm assuming the vision we were shown was what Link was shown, so he knows she's in the past at this point, in theory. Durkin. I don't think Link has any consciousness, who knows? He never speaks, we have no idea. There's a chest on there. This area looks kind of nice, to be honest. Obviously still snowy, but... I don't know why this place melted so quickly. But nothing else did, but we won't question that. Um, there's a thing over there. I mean, obviously, there's still a fuck ton of stuff to explore. And there was a tower up there. I kind of want to try and grab that tower and then head back to Lookout Landing. Let's see if we can get to the tower. Go kill Dragon. The dragons are too high. I think I've seen a couple of them, but I don't know how to get to them. Or even what they're doing, or even if I can get to them and or kill them. Because my only real means of going up is the towers, and... Like, not everything that's up is near a tower. Ow. Ow. 
Yeah. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> God damn it. Gotta, gotta reload the area. Octorox, you said. From here, we would want to go the direction I'm current. Oh, we have a mark on it. The direction I'm facing. We. How do I summon... Dude, man. Did it actually tell me how to do that? This thing. Dispiss? No, I want to... Can't summon here. Oh. I wanted to scooty puff. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? Hold on. We could just come from the fucking wind temple. I don't know why I didn't think of that idea. The wind temple is closer and higher. So surely I can reach that. Apparently the depths has undecayed weapons. What? Hello? Answer the phone. Hello. Tulin's vows granted you the power to summon his avatar. Cool. Sure it does. Where is it? I should be able to see it somewhere. What's up with the Borg cubes? Can we talk about the Borg cubes? Oh, there's another thing down there. They just cubing? Got a problem with that? Yes. I should probably be gliding while I put marks down. Did I pass it? No. Oh, there it is. May as well see if we can make it to this sky island before we drop down there. Hello? Fuck you. You got anything up here, or we're just here for a giggle? There's some fans. Whatever this is. What the fuck is this? Is this a battery? Fly. I think this is all connected to that way over there. What's this? Let me control. What? How many fans do I have? We can, can we actually drive? Does it matter how that's attached? Probably not. Just slap these. Slap them, Shonbi, Shijandi. 
About to go driving. We got two fans. We got two fans. That does not allow much control, I gotta be honest with you. If it even allows any control, I have no idea how this shit works. We put it at an angle. It's the wrong way, but, you know, I'll fix it in a second. Does this work? Is this how this works? Oh my god. Am I being shot at? I am being shot at. I think the fans don't stop. I think we just have permanent fans. My juice is running out. Do I need the fans to move? Logically, I would. But this is a weird magical cube. not going anywhere. Need the fans to Scooty Puff. Confirmed. But there's more go-go juice here. If I can reach it. Bro, we got some fucking velocity. You know what? Fucking, what do we... This guy's got a cannon for a weapon. Oh no, he doesn't. He's... Ah, he's just shooting missiles. But also, ow. You fucker. What am I even doing up here? Besides getting shot at. The link stuff. Eh, just the usual, you know? Oh, there's a, there's a dispenser. Ah, fuck, I'm stuck on another one. Get out of the way! I don't have any arrows. Can I block these? Erratic movement. Surely they can't predict. Idiot. Little mouse. Stupid it. Don't shoot me. Oh! There's a cloud in the way. How am I supposed to work in these conditions? It's also a fucking cube in the way. Hello, we have arrived. There's a spark. Also a temple. Well, a place where a temple should be? Does it work? Nope. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. The what? A 
getting distracted from what our original goal was, which sounds about right, to be honest. Gotcha! Gotcha, Pong. What do we got here? Cart. Is this a fucking skateboard? Sled? A light? There's a lot of these, bro. No skateboard. Well, that's all the ones that are here, but let's get another round of it. <laughs> Just to have some spares. We got skateboards, we got snow skateboards, all sorts of goodies. Got any Yahahas? What? That board cube looking a little close. Oh, it's just up there now. Why does it poof? Come here, you fucker. Yeah. 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 I can't I can't make that noise. Um Somewhere in this block of dirt is what we need. But how do we get it? Better start digging. Fortunately, I don't think we can dig. It's down there. How many arrows? I can never have any gut bang arrows. Probably could have just swung, but I wanted to burn them, right? Should probably just swing. Oh, that's a lot of stiff and a control thingy. And some cool saphine. Alright, well this is how we get out. Surely it's fine if we drop that on the floor. That would have been funny if it actually did, to be honest with you. What the fuck? How did it rotate like that? And these don't matter, they just need to be stuck on it somewhere. These, these batteries are neat, but the fact that they're just one time seems to imply we're probably not going to get consumable versions of it, but maybe, I don't know.
Like, why get consumable battery when there's already battery upgrades in the game? I know, we just move this over the edge. Do do Skybox. Nearly done with Xenoblade? Zoom. You got the first one to two hour cutscene slash story event? Oh, that doesn't mean you're nearly done, though. That just means you got a one to two hour cutscene. Plenty to go. We're looking a little low, by the way. Also, I'm joking. I have no idea about that game. I thought we were tilting backwards. I've acquired your stupid crystal. Okay. You who offer the crystal, I will grant you an egg. Big. We've already seen that. Allow me access to your egg. Thank you. All of this and I was originally just going to drop down to that tower that was directly below us. Rauru's blessing. More dash. Thanks for appreciate you. I have six of these. Two more, and I can get two upgrades. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. And then I can kill Ganon. Instead of kill Chaos, it's just kill Ganon. Every Zelda game, just kill Ganon. I don't speak unless it's about Ganon. Alright, well now the problem is the tower is in fucking Narnia. But the way I came, so we're gonna have to go this way, and then we're gonna have to go the way I'm coming from, because the thing is under me. This is a very efficient means of traversal. At least we get to enjoy a nice flappy in the wind noise. Also, as annoying as that noise is that he does, it's very useful to have that wind gust. Akita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. Hello? Skip. Wow, the streamer is skipping cinematics? What the fuck, bro? Can't skip this one, though. Gotta watch this whole cutscene every time. There's not actually that many towers, so it's, it's just not bad. There's only one every zone, so like eight or whatever.
Ta da! There is a mysterious diamond over there. Looking a little bit red. That mysterious diamond is also in the air? Is that the cube? Is there a cube up and a cube down? A multi cube, if you will? There's something down there. It's also these fucking things. I mean, where do those come from? Should probably drop below the guy who shoots rockets before we deal with that. What? Yeah, where the fuck did this guy come from? How the fuck did he get up here? Maybe that's what. Oh. That doesn't look like very much fun. Or possibly a lot of fun, depending. It looks like something that's going to murder me. Let's phrase it that way. It's a, it's a friend. Where is it at? I'm guessing right on the head. There's a rock. That is not what we're looking for. Hello? Oh, fuck. Hey. Hello, spirit. Assist me. Thank you. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. So somewhere on this big ass thing is going to be water. Unfortunately, it does not reveal itself to us unless we're close to it. Drop blank on Korra, kid. It's be easier if we had our horse, but we're so fucking far from the... Where is our horse, actually? It's down there. We're a little bit far away. That's too close. Nope. I'm kind of assuming it's just on these water droplety looking spots, but I don't actually know. Maybe that one. That one's looking suspicious. What am I looking for? On each of these big ass spots, there is a single pool of water, but the pool is hidden. There it is. It gives us little story bits. I don't think you can see the pool until you're close to it, but I could be mistaken. It is the tier. I think it's the tier of the dragon. Unless they all have different names. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Finally. Finally, it is mine! Oh. He has corrupted it. It is a big. He made an evil tear?
Zelda, I feel like you should run. Seems fine. It no longer seems fine. Use the switch. Oh, they teleported. Hmm. He was so mad his ears twitched. mad at Mercer. What does it even matter? It's bright. It's kind of weird this game's story is telling everything around Breath of the Wild. But he's in too many games. Have you tried being a better voice actor so you can be in games? Why do villains like to laugh maniacally? Because it sounds cool. Alright, so we got that. Delete that pin. Keep those because those are marking stuff. Australians don't make good VAs. That sounds like a skill issue to me. Let's go back to town. It has been a while since we've been to Lookout Landing. Who was, who was the voice for Breath of the Wild, Ganon? Was there a voice for Breath of the Wild, Ganon? The fuck is this big lad? Well, before we do that, let me let me do the Poe thing. This is this is the Poe thing. I completely forgot about this statue. I am one who returns Poe's to the afterlife. Ganon didn't exist in Breath of the Wild. What was? I thought there was a Ganon. A Ganon thing. Everything's Ganon, really. You really gonna give them one at a time? 
Cal Calamity Ganon. It's got Ganon in the name. Everyone's Ganon. You're Ganon. I'm Ganon. This thing, this fucking statue is Ganon. You should take this. A dark clump. It's cold to the touch and seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Oh. A hundred and fifty. Is this just Dark Link's outfit? There's a game with a Dark Link in it, isn't there? Like an evil version? My brethren, whose spirits reside in statues far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. Try offering pose. They will. Okay. Ocarina and Majora. Maybe all of them? Who fucking knows? What do you want? Me too. I do have the Buddha pad. Oh! Want to investigate the depths? I've already done that, in fact. Like these noises. Oot and TP had it. I need more on that figure. What figure? That's what I was going to ask, and it happened to be a dialogue option. Hello, yes, my name's Linklonk. Smiles. Yeah. It's just literally black, like pure black Link. That doesn't count, he doesn't have an outfit. An artifact. Hmm. Uh -huh. People used to live in the depths, you say. <sighs> Seems like a terrible place to live, but what do I know? Mm. Oh. Why does he make noises like this? Looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Camera, you see. Enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. Ta-ta! That's how he says ta-ta. <laughs> Why does she not name like anyone by their actual name? Yeah. Bright bloom seeds, thanks. Arrows, thanks, because I don't have any. Can I attach a bright bloom seed to a sword and just swing the sword around? Like a torch. <laughs> no? Ah, fuck. What's the point of living? That's illegal. What's going on up here? Can you build that stable? It looks like the stable got built. Well, something got built. Ah. Never mind, it's not done. <sighs> ah, it's missing two planks of wood. Fucking catastrophe. <sighs> it's one piece of wood. Catastrophe. 
Yeah. Horses are already in this stable. Yeah, I built it for you. Man, that could have taken months. Absolutely. Oh. Is this guy part of the construction team? Because they need new people on their team. And before it's a whole ass structure somehow. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. That's a terrible song. Okie dokes. Um. <laughs> He's really into construction. This is the number one he couldn't finish the roof? Explain to me. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. One point. Reward available. I can get the god horse, or sorry, horse god cloth. I can't claim it here, apparently. Woodland stable. They keep mentioning that. Yeah, it's like a rewards card. Was this here before? This wasn't here before. Did it fall? Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Lock. Yes. Nice facial hair. Was he pink? I don't know. He's very pink. Oh. Ancient Hyrule. Oh. Why, why are your notes in Kakariko Village? Why is that where your research is? I don't understand. Hmm. Ah. Alright, good luck with that, I guess. I'll just translate it here while you're gone. I cannot read it. Alright, well it was worth a try, you know? <laughs> I'm too stupid, I'm sorry. Um. Oh yeah, there's the shop. I wonder if she has anything new. It's also the well, which looks like it's done. Where's Kitten when you need- yeah, we need our universal translator. There's stuff. I already have this, don't I? Yeah. This is new, though. I'm already wearing it, though. I should probably buy some ears. It's 20 for 5, really. Oi! Oi! something in here somewhere that I can sell. Where are they? Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. It's the only two noises she makes. And they alternate stupendously. Ah. Oh. oh. Oops. Ah. It's all. It's all she does. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hello. I must dance. Me too, dude. Me too. I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. 
I smell poop. Two. And a ban ban. Another shield slot. One. Oh, it's dependent on how many slots you already have, isn't it? Oh. Already two? What the heck? How long does he stay here? Is he like always here now? He currently stacked on stamina. There's a thousand of the things, I <laughs> swear enough. I'm assuming all storage goes. Well, actually, maybe was it gonna scroll? If this shit starts scrolling, I swear to God. He hasn't left yet, so I'm going to assume this is now his permanent house. So he's not gonna fuck off somewhere. There we go. Perfectly zero. Dance a long chat. Pop. Always dance, forever dance. No. Alright, ban noob. Before we actually we'll talk to them now. Yeah, we'll talk to them now. Fuck it. What's 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 y'all up to? What you doing? He doesn't know how to get to Goron City. <sighs> Death Mountain has stopped erupting? What? Apparently Woodland Stable is an important area, because it's now been mentioned for two different directions. And Death Mountain, not a shithole? Oh. 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 Now you're talking, lad. Yellow statue. Yes, yes, lights of blessing. Still slightly ominous, um, gloomy effect happens when I buff myself. Like that's a little, a little sussy. One more and we have completed a full circle. Ganonades being cleansed from my whole body, though? Because technically only my arm got fucked. Hello. Wait, what? There's a... what? There's a hole. A creepy voice. Sounds like a demon growling. Hmm. Goodbye forever. What's in here? Hmm. Ominous noises. Hmm. 
Let's unleash the demon. I don't actually have like a lot of big weapons. Hello. What these? Why do you growl ominously? It has horns. Clearly a demon statue. Now that's a surprise. What are you praying for? Long life? Wealth? I need stamina. My life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into the stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough. Again, I was sent away. Spent time trapped in a pond with only fish, and finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. I've only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Hello. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Uh... You have taken my heart? Yeah, but like, why did she do that? Get, get, give it back. <laughs> give me stamina. I've traded a heart for stamina. Is this what I've done now? How can I keep doing that and just have one heart? Let's opt to not try that before I suicide myself. Sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you buy it back, it costs 120. Hmm. Interdasting? So for the cost of effectively 20 rupees, I can convert one to another. Is it, surely there's something in here, right? Oh my god. Yeah, we're Valheimen now. Dig better? Oh, wait, hold on. We can. There's a claymore and a rock. We can do this. Why was we spin? Good question, actually. That's pretty good. All that for some flint and some rock salt. Let's go. Let's just break them. We don't really care that much about that. But eh, if we're going to go to the depths again, we should probably get some more break blue. There, I think there was another direction to go, though. Kind of hard to see down here. Yeah. No, don't do that. Stop. Cease. There's another rock, though. Uh, there was a claymore that dropped down here. Can we get it to attach to this here rock? 
This is quite the path. Like, what the fuck are we doing down here? <laughs> Where are we going? Why are we going? Hello? Yet more digging can be had here. What? I shot it. Oh, fuck. My bow! I was using that. Are you, sh are you chewing it? I think it just chewed my bow. Stick your, your bollocks out. Thank you. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was violent. Yep. Oh, thanks for the better bow, you shit. There's just nothing here? I just dug through here for no reason? Hmm. There's up there. Which way did I come from? Came from there. This is a very strange cave. was a bomb <laughs> through that. <laughs> well, shit, when was the last time it saved? Oh, when I opened the chest, I think it saves. We can save some of our weapon durability by not going to that dead end. I think. We gotta be careful, there's a bomb in here somewhere. Found the bomb. Did you like, the, did you like that maneuver in there? An expert of my craft. God, every time I do that, disappointing. the blue rocks mean? These rocks are different. They're also just on the floor. They could be doing nothing. Alternatively, they could be hiding goodies. Do our blue rocks just stronger? No, they're just blue. Might be a little bit stronger, actually. I need two-handed stuff. That's not two-handed. No. I feel like I should probably just eat some bombs on you. Yeah. 
Just let's throw some bombs. Well, that was shit. There's an enemy in there. Wish FIPA happy birthday, Winfrey. I'll do that right now. There's a big boy back there. I like their helmets. Wow, you're astonishingly weak to fire for some reason. Moblin arm. Moblin fang. I think I've already stuck an arm onto an arm. Yeah, I have. It just makes a longer arm, as one would imagine. I can uh, showcase this. I can stitch a bokoblin arm onto a moblin arm. There you go. He do be twisting. So we got a path down here. Fairies, which I have yet to actually manage to catch a single fairy. But these can't go anywhere, because they're in a cave. Never mind, they can just fucking vanish. See you, man. How do I... There's a way to take stuff off. There we go. Why did I just get a rupee? The wiggle wiggle. If you just wiggled in combat and your thorn fell apart, would be pretty bad. Oh, with the ultra hand thing? The ultra hand doesn't re uh, react to weapons. Are we? Look at how fucking far away we are. <laughs> we started in lookout landing. Does this cave end? Is this just a Terraria cave that never stops? Alright. Blue thing. What's over here? Yeah. Are these just fucking bomb proof rocks? I don't understand. Did you 
find another one, noob. You should go spelunk it like I am. Quite the spelunker in there. That's a lot of dosh in one spot. Look how far down we are, too. Well, this is, uh... That's not just a pile of rocks, is it? I was gonna say, this is a nice looking place, and then that was over there. You're gonna do something. Are you a pile of rocks? Maybe it is just a pile of rocks, I don't know. I mean, we already know there's rock enemies. Surely there's a big version of it. It's a video game, you can't not have a big version. Very sussy pile of rocks. Wait, did I miss a blue rock over there somehow? How the fuck? Streamer is blind. We already knew that, but confirmed. That's good. I knew there was one over here somewhere, but my tiny pea brain couldn't remember. <laughs> Having a tiny pea brain raises several problems on a day-to-day -day basis. another blue rock over there. This is clearly not just a pile of rocks, man. It's fucking doom misting down here. It's in the middle of an area. Yeah, getting Koroks up is a problem. Down is fine. Up is difficult. There's a path that I can open. That's a path that goes somewhere. The fuck did what what am I doing, chat? Why are bombs bad? Like why why bomb no break rock? Are these not breakable rocks? No, they're breakable. Frog. What the fuck? Show yourself. Your bulbous sack. Thank you. Wait, don't use that one. Use, uh... I can use this thing. Should've used the fire thing, actually.
It's just such an effective weapon. Kind of wild. Question mark. Traveler's bow. Oh, that was a nice one. I don't know what element that was. Oh, you found a dragon? Go punch it. Soldier's Helm. That is actually better than what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing doesn't matter because it's not part of the set. Look at that, I got a helmet now. We're pogging. Something. This was just that. Oh, it might have been that. Let's. I'm probably gonna be confused by this because I can't like put cave on it. But let's put a skull here because I'm still very suspicious of this area because it's doing the doom spooky red mist. Can I activate these rocks? Are these even a thing? It is just rocks, I don't know. What if I poke it? If I poke it with something stronger. And break the rocks. Maybe, maybe I'm miss. Let's get rid of this pen. Let's dig in the rocks. See if there's anything. I don't fucking know. I have two bombs left. There is indeed something here. It's just buried in rocks. Turns out. And rusty claymores. There's a lot of those around. Stall knocks. Oh, I shouldn't fight you, should I? <laughs> Need to eat something because I'm injured. Hello. You're a large fella. What do I do with you? I'm gonna shoot you in the eye. Oh, it's the Cyclops thing. But skeletal. He seems mad. He also seems a bit stupid, but... Wait. Alright, well... You got a lot of HP on you, lad. Did you just rip a rib cage off? Or a rib off, I should say, not a rib cage. I am still in the cave. I found a friend that did no damage, by the way, just spat fire everywhere. <laughs> it hit nothing. Very good. I was suspicious of the rocks, so I hit the rocks, and then it turns out the rocks could break. And then it turns out this guy just lives in the rocks. So, now we're fighting him. Because he's mad that we broke his rocks, which is fair enough, to be honest. Oh my god, the damage this thing does. Why are the arms so much stronger than every other weapon? Wait, that's your eye. No. Lord of Man destroys peaceful skeleton. Yes. Uh, 
Um, I guess I can only hurt the eye now. It's a weird fight. Oh, he's protecting himself. He's learned. Not well enough, apparently. Look at this one. My rock sledge is badly damaged. Don't do a lot of damage to this. What about fire? Does it like fire? That weapon sucks ass. Dude. Bro, how much health does this fucking thing have? Get off of me. So why is it so strong? be a boss that's true oh don't shoot the bomb I can't light it on fire and this shit's fucking hmm. running out of arrows hmm. nearly out of arrows ah fuck off Can't throw that nearly as far as I was hoping I could throw that. You've been following along at home. Nice throw, thanks. Did that really do like fucking? Well, don't take your jaw off. Are you gonna throw your jaw at me? What the fuck, dude? How do I deal with you, sir? Oh, now you're taking your arm off. There you go. Got him. Have we done it? We've done it. At the cost of numerous resources, and also this cave. An ox tooth. Stan ox hole. A knight's claymore. A knight's halberd. Alrighty, oh, had a bunch of weapons stuck in him, I forgot. Alright, well. Now that we've defeated that, we can continue exploring the cave because uh the just fucking never ends, apparently. We just live down here now. For the rest of my playthrough, we're just spelunking. Oh, I should have made... Alright, we gotta go back. I need more rock weapons. Hold on. We need more digging implements. We have plenty of rocks. We just need... We don't have plenty of weapons. Alright, back to Spelunkin. With the cave that never ends. Don't climb that. Stop. Let's try to reach in stamina. Scheme. Surely there's something good in these caves, right? Not just an infinite quantity of rocks. Gotta be careful in case we bomb something. Or in case we hit a bomb, not bomb something. More rocks! Oh my lord!
We found our mother load of luminous stones, which I don't actually remember what the fuck these are even for. They're not those. Where what what are luminous stones? Where are they? Hello? The stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. I, it keeps saying I can make stuff, but I still don't know how to make things. That's not what I meant to do. Like there's a fucking crafting system in here somewhere. I gotta go to the workbench and craft some new clothing. I'm gonna run out of rock weapons and not be able to get out of here. I, we can always teleport. Did I break stuff by hitting it? It's quite the stick you got, dude. Why are your sticks so long? What are you doing? What are you... I don't have any arrows, I forgot. Fuck me. Is he okay? Got him, stupid ass. Oh my gourd. Well, there goes the fairy, but also, uh, that man did a fucking lot of damage. Have I looked at the time recently? No. It's 4 a.m., though. Look, man, the cave... The cave doesn't stop. I should stop, though. Let's... Uh, someone keep a note that I have to go into the cave. No one will remember that, and I won't either, and I'll forget that fucking cave exists. We traveled, like, eight miles in a cave, and we found nothing. What the heck? There's, there's one thing I wanted to check before I stopped, and this was before I got distracted by the cave, so we're gonna do it. I wanted to see what was down here. Ah, more rocks we could dig through. More spelunking could be had in this cave. It's just a well, surely it's not that long. <laughs> surely. Yeah, it's just a chest. A royal claymore yields a powerful flurry rush. I completely forgot about perfect dodges. Like an entire ass fucking mechanic that I just ignored existence. I'm very smart and good at the video game, I'll have you know. Alright. 
That's enough spelunking. It's heckin' late, so I should stop. Lest I end up playing the game for uh, another eight hours again. Actually, I didn't do eight hours. I did two five-hour runs, didn't I? Something like that. We save. Thanks for watching and hanging out and listening to my incoherent rambling. I appreciate it. Game fun. Am have fun. Enjoy game. Clap. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.